Namaskaram everyone. Glad to be connected back with you. Uh, for me, I wanted to share my journey of the last few weeks. It's been uh, almost uh, three and a half to four weeks being at the Isha Yoga Center. And uh, I can just, uh, you know, say that I feel really blessed to have spent this time and uh, these uh, last few weeks have been uh, a really transforming experience for me. I was waiting for this from a long time uh, since uh, it's almost a year now since I visited the center and uh, yes, the center was not yet not open yet and it's just few weeks back they opened up the center and I didn't want to miss this opportunity to uh, spend some time here and you know refocus on sadhana and just imbibing this energy and grace here so it has been a phenomenal few last few weeks and um, i also had an opportunity to go into silence for one week and uh, i just came out of silence yesterday so i just cannot explain um, what silence can do to a person just being in silence being in your own company for one uh, for a few days so uh, we teachers we have the privilege of uh, going into silence in Isha for seven days but even uh, those who have done in engineering program at least I think they can uh, go into silence for at least three days those who have done uh, think silence program like Samyama they can even do for seven days once in three months so there's an option like this in Isha where people can come and stay and uh, you know take uh, go through a process where they'll give you a particular schedule to follow right from the time you wake up till the time you sleep everything is decided for you like what you need to do so that you don't need to spend uh, time thinking what you should do next you just focus on yourself and you see how you can deepen your sadhana so this is a phenomenal process and i've been doing this uh, from you know last so many years uh, i've always kept it uh, that every few months every three months or so i'll spend at least five to seven days in silence so only since the last one year because of the lockdown i couldn't come so i was just hoping uh, you know i could spend this time and finally i got to be here so this was uh, this is uh, such a beautiful process because when you're alone you have uh, nothing else or no one else uh, you know to uh, handle except yourself when you are doing activity, when you are, you know, busy with things outside, you may think that the problem is uh, with someone else or something else outside. And there are so many things you may try to shift the blame on. You may think that somebody else is disturbing your life or uh, your job is the biggest problem or your boss is the biggest problem or maybe your husband or wife is the biggest problem. Whatever you may be thinking, uh, you may just think that something outside is the biggest problem. Uh, and uh, it feels like oh if we didn't have anything else to do in the world then we would just close our eyes and sit but that's easier said than done actually if you really come and see and just try this and see uh, whether it is really easier to do activity or just to sit doing nothing you will see that most people will find that just doing nothing is more difficult than anything else because here you are uh, you know you are under the test of your own intelligence and which is very severe. You don't have anyone else to blame. You don't have any other situations except yourself. And it just dawns upon you, the stark realization dawns upon you that uh, the, all your problems or all your miseries, everything the root cause is within you and not something, not some, within uh, someone else or it's not, it's not due to somebody else or something outside. But it's something which is within you. And uh, this is a uh, harsh truth that most of us don't realize very early on. It may, For some it may take ages just to realize that whatever problems which we are going through in life, the solution is within us and the problem is also within us. So this is, this is something, you know, it's better that we come to a realization as soon as possible. As uh, Sadhguru was mentioning that, it's, uh, there is no excuse for an old fool. You can be a young fool, it's still okay. Because you still have time, you are exploring. 
but if you are a old fool there is no excuse so you should be uh, you should be able to go through this test as early as possible in your life so that you know we can we can see what are the obstacles or what the challenges and work on a self to correct it so i always um, uh, you know put myself through this test and i constantly see how i can upgrade myself or see how i can break my limitations whatever they are and this uh, serves as a good opportunity for me to just spend this time where you're doing sadhana for almost uh, for 24 hours a day it's like you know everything is sadhana for you whether it's practices or going to the uh, you know uh, hall for dining or just walking or being in the temple or in the pond or in the, wherever else you do whatever else you're doing the idea is that you use everything as a period of sadhana and even in terms of yogic practices you spend over 10 hours doing yogic practices so it's an intense period of cleansing and purification where you can just look within yourself intensify uh, intensify your energies and see what are those little little things which are holding you back and which you can clear so that growth happens for you inevitably and it happens in uh, it happens at a pace which you want which is uh, which is generally which is generally when you are outside and you are in caught up in many situations you may see that pay, the growth happens very slowly and you may get caught up in the same situations over and over again but just being uh, in silence for few days at least allows you that opportunity to look outside to just see what whatever situations you are grappling with and just see if you can create a distance and sometimes you will see if you just create a distance then everything becomes so clear and uh, the solution also appears so imminent and clear so uh, for me last few uh, uh, weeks just being here at the center and also this especially this last week being in silence was something phenomenal so many things uh, which were holding me back and uh, i was struggling to break through just in the last few weeks it happened especially in the last 7 days of silence and uh, last 7 days it was uh, a great preparation for me for the enthusiast program i would say because uh, this is one program uh, where uh, this is something uh, it takes a lot for me in terms of preparation because this is not about uh, teaching something this is just about a personal sharing about how uh, this path has been for me and how i can offer how i can make myself in the best possible way so that uh, whatever i am doing it's not about the words or whatever we are saying it's just that something else impacts you leave a different kind of impact so for me always uh, uh, whenever it's a program i feel the most important thing is to prepare myself to work on myself to upgrade myself because if that happens if there's something which shines through then anyway people will be impacted so that has been the biggest preparation and so last few weeks uh, has been a tremendous uh, boon for me i'm looking forward uh, to the program starting now in a few days time we'll be starting uh, from thai pusam which is uh, coming up in a few days which is a very auspicious day for spiritual seekers so this was the day uh, when uh, viji ma attained maha samadhi and many other enlightened beings chose this day to uh, you know to leave the bodies and and sadguru says that this this day especially is a very important day for spiritual seekers so i thought it would be a good day to uh, get started with our uh, next batch of the dujas program which is a 21 days online program so i'm looking forward to that uh there could be a lot of changes because uh the program is uh, not about a particular teaching or not about uh, something uh, which you have to you know learn about this is just about uh, my personal sharing i would say more so uh, about my uh, journey as a seeker and what are those road blocks which i faced and which i was able to overcome and i felt that if i could share this journey in different ways in terms of different tools which were helpful for me or things which were useful for me 
if that can be shared it could be helpful for many spiritual seekers so so definitely a lot has upgraded since the last edition which we did in september uh, the first program we did it was from september 3rd to 23rd so uh, it's been almost 3 uh, and a half 4 months so since i have upgraded a lot the program will also upgrade it uh, remains to be seen in terms of how the structure will be etc i've kept it very dynamic like last program also i was just like deciding what to do based on the group and how things were going so i think it will be similar this time as well in terms of elements it could be many elements could be similar but yes there could be differences as well because so many experiences have changed within me uh, since last few months and i wanted to see how i can share that so i'm looking forward uh, uh, to the speed of program starting uh, this month and uh, after that we'll be also looking at other online programs like ahar srishti and then uh, probably around uh, february end or march first week around mahash shivratri we are seeing if we can get started with offline programs in bangalore as well and uh, that would be a good opportunity for those of you based in bangalore to come and uh, learn hatha yoga and uh, also i wanted to update about uh, doing surya shaktis so uh, as uh, i had posted during my last video that um, i started doing 108 cycles of surya shakti daily and i had also shared about my journey how i had built it up right from scratch uh, to reaching 108 so since then you know i think it was around jan 6th or 7th in which i had started doing 108 so since then up till now i have been doing 108 cycles daily and uh, this is one thing which has uh, created a phenomenal difference i would say i mean so many things which i was struggling to break from more than 10 years it has just happened in the last few weeks so it has created a uh, huge difference and uh, i'm definitely going to see how uh, we can inspire many more people to take this up i'm just waiting to finish uh, 40 days of Uh, it or at least one mandala of doing this surya shakti 108 cycles for at least uh, 40 days so i'm um, i think i've finished about 17 18 days, days so another few weeks to go and uh, once i complete that i feel i'll be in a better position uh, to even launch a program or design a program so that we can uh, we can see how we can uh, create a structure or inspire people so that they can also bring this into their life and uh, they can also uh, you know reach 108 surya shaktis so this has been phenomenal for me so probably uh, you know once we start our offline programs in bangalore we'll see by that time if we can design some program to inspire people uh, to take this up so uh, this is uh, this is something which is a huge blessing if uh, if you can uh, focus on sadhana in the next few months especially from this time up till mahashivratri this is a very conducive period for intensifying one sadhana and uh, there are different uh, tools available for example there was this bhairavi sadhana which is going to uh, uh, you know end on thai pujam for ladies and probably a few more days later for men so i hope uh, many of you would have taken up this sadhana that is something which uh, would have greatly enhanced your receptivity and for gents there is also shivanga sadhana which is coming up i think the initiation is again on thai pujam so that will uh, culminate on mahashivratri so that is also a very powerful process so please see if you can make use of this make use of whatever tools are available uh, there is something called as mahashivratri sadhana also which i think they will launch just uh, before mahashivratri so whatever you are doing see in the next few months up to mahashivratri you can use this time to intensify your sadhana whether you are uh, attending a program or not it doesn't make a difference the main thing is uh, see if you are working on yourself if you need the program to intensify your sadhana that's great that's fine you can make use of the tool otherwise if you are already learned many practices and uh, you just want to see how you want to intensify or take it to the next level then use this time the next few weeks Uh, and make use of this time and grace to grow within so hope to see uh, i think many of you have signed up for the dijas program so i hope to see many of you there 
or in one of our upcoming programs and if you are in Bangalore also hope to see you during our offline programs so keep up the sadhana and uh, look forward to connect with you all again Namaskaram